hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so today we, let's discuss about the commercialization of the patent now you got the work okay and you got your patent done so now what is your uh, benefits or what you are going to you know we have to take benefits out of this particular patent right so for that we are having the uh, we have to commercialize our patent so to commercialize our patent the one thing definitely it should be granted the patent should be granted to you so you can either go for the uh, selling it distributing it or you can go for the only for five years i'll give up for a particular company next five years i'll give to someone else then you can always take you know a particular stand based on the agreed terms or you can say the conditions between the whoever is involving whoever you are selling or maybe individual or it can be the industry any kind of industry or organization all those things okay so let's get in the patent owner may be may be may grant permission to an any individual person or maybe the entire organization or industry okay usually uh, if it is it has got a industrial uh, value or you can say the importance or uh, in the, you know, or like industrial applications so then usually it will be industry to make use and sell his patent invention this is what is commercialization of the patent is what you are giving you are giving you are giving the permission to someone that they can use your patent maybe for making it making that product that is like manufacturing you uh, that product then use it they can use it or sell it okay your patent so that will be called as commercialization of the patent so this takes place according to the agreed terms and conditions between the involving parties whoever you are selling it so it depends on them a patent owner may grant a license to a third party for uh, many reasons okay there are some reasons we will see the patent owner winner has a decent job imagine he is a university professor or something like that okay example university professor or has no desire or aptitude to exploit the patent on his own so he doesn't have time or he enjoys uh, like he has got a passion towards teaching or something like that so he will just make he has got time to uh, go for uh, research and all so he just makes patent and he will sell it okay or he can just give a license to someone to make it use it or sell it next the patent owner may not have the necessary manufacturing facilities so imagine uh, you whatever the product you made you don't have the manufacturing facility you have to go for the uh, selling it to or the licensing it to the someone else so that they will manufacture it produce it and then they will distribute it they will sell it next the manufacturing facility is not able to meet the market demand this is the third reason if the manufacturing facility okay you have manufacturing facility but very small scale but demand is too much so then in that case you can go for the uh, to giving the third party it's like in this uh, case i would like to give an example of uh, the benz bmw all these cars uh, companies and all you already know so when the benz and the mercedes benz started making the uh, uh, its first model and it released to the market there was a huge demand okay very few very huge orders came within a year so they were not able to produce or manufacture so many cars at that time okay at that moment because they were at small scale the manufacturing facility was less lesser than the demand market demand so so what they did they gave a license they gave their design everything and license when agreed terms and rules and uh, regulations they gave it to Volkswagen so Volkswagen what it did so it started making the uh, car only the brand will be the car from the Benz same thing goes for BMW same thing goes for many car companies in the world entire world we are having two major okay many are there but two major uh, uh, parental companies we call in automobile sector parental company means uh, like this i just gave an example no just because they won't be having facility or not but they got they make a, a huge name in the entire world market so huge demand will be there but they can't produce so much units within a short period of time during that time they don't want to lose the money because there is a demand so there will be a money 
so they will they can go for this parental companies where parental companies are already having a huge facilities in almost all the countries so like general motor company volkswagen and all okay general motor from us and volkswagen from germany and all so we can uh, these companies can go and uh, give their license their design car design to them so entire engine part everything will be there so only the design will be copied by the, the uh, by the benz or all these whatever the new companies or the small companies will be there so that's how things work okay now the patent owner wishes now the fourth reason is the patent owner wishes to concentrate on a geographic market for example for other uh, geographic markets he may choose to license the patent rights for example in india i will manufacture in us and europe i want to license it so i can do that also my patent nobody can use it in india because i have not given any license when i give license to the america and us or maybe russia or japan they whoever whatever the company i have given only they can produce it they can uh, use it or they can sell it okay so that is what the fourth reason okay so next once the patent is granted what happens the patentee patent means who in the previous class we discussed it's the person who is holding the rights to the patent or who owns the patent he enjoys the exclusive rights to use the patented invention definitely he will be the owner he will be the boss now so only the patentee has the right to license or a deal with the patent for any deliberations just because the patent is granted by the indian patent office pa indian patent office will not have any rights to sell this so they can what they can do they can only grant you the patent once you have a grant uh, for your patent you can go for its your decisions okay all the rights you will be having you can license to anyone or you can deal with that patent in any manner okay so although the validity of the granted patent we know that it is how much years 20 years last last topic only we discussed from the date of what filing the patent application but the patent is required to furnish information like form number 27 on an annual basis we know that on every relating to a commercialization or selling of the patent we know that every year there has to renewal we have to do why we have to do in that also you have to mention whether this product is commercialized or not if it is commercialized okay to what are the companies who are having the licenses for this to manufacture this product all those things will be you have to mention that it is called as working or licensing of the patent okay form number 27 now the licensing of the patent can be exclusive or non-exclusive right so in exclusive what happens whatever the exclusive license is there the patent is sold to only one individual or organization or maybe a company okay you are giving to only one person for fixed time periods like for example i got a patent today so next five years i will be giving it for company x okay so after the uh, five years from uh, six to ten years i will give it to company y next z next maybe something yes or something like that so i am going for it's my decision at a whatever the decision i have to make with my patent i um i will be the boss and i will be the decision maker next during this time period what happens no other person or entity can exploit the relevant ip except the named licensee if the aim uh, first five years who is the licensee in my example it is x company next five years it is y next 10 years it is z so whatever the time slot has been given for example after five years the x cannot manufacture my product and sell it if it does i can the, i can go for the action against them okay it will act as a it will come become as a infringement okay and we have studied what is patent infringement already so that is in exclusive license you are giving to a one party one uh, one individual or a company okay so whereas non-exclusive license a patent now i have my patent i can sell the this patent rights rights to many individuals at a time like for example at, uh, i will sell my patent to the company x y z all three together okay so i can i can do that i can say that uh, why should i go for a single company i can also go for the 
many companies so that i'll get more money from all the companies that's it let them compete each other like that so that's how the things works that is called non exclusive exclusive means exclusively will give it to a person single party individual or an organization whereas non exclusive you will be giving it for many parties or many individuals okay so what if the patent is like i have a patent so i am the patent so if the patent is not able to commercialize his uh, his patent within 3 years of the date of the grant of the patent so imagine you got a grant you applied 3 years back today you got a grant now next to 3 years you will have time so imagine next 3 years you are not doing any you are not commercializing it so then again any person might come okay out of nowhere they can submit application to the controller of patents okay that they, they have by uh, by stating that that uh, compulsory licensing they have to give the license okay subject to fulfill the following conditions for example now x company is there okay you, you have got a patent so most of the companies knows but you have not given license to anyone to commercialize because you are waiting for your own company to set up that this and all maybe that reason another reason in security because you don't know uh, you want to have uh, you are keeping like i need 1 million dollar for my patent nobody is getting that nobody is coming to your demand then all these reasons whatever the reasons it may be if 3 years it is not commercialized then anyone may submit an application to the controller of the patent for grant of the compulsion compulsory licensing of the patent they have to uh, they 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 should they can say that it's been 3 years it is not been commercialized so they have to license that means some they have to give the license to us or anyone uh, like that so subject to the fulfillment of the following requirements the following these are the requirements why they have to give the license reasonable requirements of the public they can write there why they have to license within uh, after three why they have to go for the compulsory licensing so reasonable requirements for the public they can state that so imagine you have a patent now now after three years you have not yet commercialized so after three years i will file i will submit application uh, to the controller uh, patent that the person you have to compulsory license it now i have to mention why why he has to go for licensing many reasons are there in that first reason can be public wants it public needs it okay so on the benefit of the society i am i want to manufacture and distribute it sell it but you are not commercializing so the you are, i am going to write application to the uh, controller of patents so controller of patents will ask you to compulsory you have to give the license so the first reason is what reasonable requirements for, for of the public concerning the patented invention have not been satisfied next next reason can be not available to the public at reasonable price okay in this all in this case also you can go for the uh, the uh, uh, compulsory licensing next patented invention is not worked in the territory of india all these reasons here some of the reasons where you can go for the uh, compulsory of licensing so next topic we are having need of for a patent attorney or agent like when you are filing you need a patent atten, attorney so or you can say you can call it as in general terms agent that we will discuss in the next class so till now all the 10 topics is done okay from starting of uh, prior of top search to commercialization now the patenting is done now only related to matters we will be discussing process of patenting usually four steps filing an application with indian patent office next after 18 months they will publish it and if anybody wants to object it they will be having time around 6 months to 1 year next uh, after that uh, you have to write a uh, uh, this thing that uh, my patent should be examined you have to uh, write one form and submit 18 year if i am not wrong then once the examiner will uh, examine your work he might raise questions then you should answer and if examiner is satisfied with your answer then he will uh, approve your application then they will get the grant okay so that's how things works under this there are 10 steps under till from the beginning before filing to the commercialization that is prior art search you will come to know that but uh, this uh, my particular work is not available in the 
public domain in any means may be scientific or non scientific or whatever it is next comes uh, choice of publication whether it is provisional or whether it is complete we know provisional means it will include only abstract it doesn't include complete information about your this thing but you can go for the provisional but you can later you can uh, go for the final one with uh, adding all the data okay next patent application form one and two we discussed which are important and in uh, form two we will be explaining about whether you are going to for provisional or complete next we are having jurisdiction like four officers are there next we discussed about patent publications so after 18 months it will be published you can go for early publication also next pre grant opposition once after 18 months it is published anybody can object your work and then you can go for uh, uh, if it is scientifically evident then your patent will be invalidated if not you can go for the next step next examination the examiner will exam and he will raise the queries you have to answer the queries if uh, he is satisfied with your uh, answers then he will grant or else he will reject next grant of a patent once the examiner gives the approval the uh, patent officer will uh, grant you the patent now you are the owner of your patent so this is the entire uh, picture we discussed about the uh, flow chart of the process of filing the patent applications now you filed you got a patent now this validity so 20 years validity will be at some countries will be having more this thing and uh, annually you have to renew these are the three points you have to remember next uh, the other points also there you can disc uh, you can go for it next commercialization you are the owner you have got feel free will to do whatever you want but remember that after till three years if it is not at commercialized then you can go for then anybody can question it and they can force you to give the license okay next topic we are uh, from here all the topics will be related to the patent it doesn't come under any uh, patent processes okay so let's discuss need of a for a patent attorney or agent in the next class